out of the way China sweatshop plastic. Make way for the real deal. I, actually, I don't. I'm, I have to stand up, so I, I'm kind of uncomfortable standing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move to my bed. Here, uh, how do I transition? Wait. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, I've been waiting for this for a while. Cause, give me a minute. Just. One, one quick second, uh, I don't really know what to do with this, so, we're gonna box, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. Hey everyone, I'm Spicy Goblin, and welcome to, I guess, my first unboxing video, in the proper... Properly themed with the properly themed bed sheets. Um, we're gonna open this the Sonic the Hedgehog Collector's Edition, classic edition, Cla classic Sonic, not modern Sonic. So, um, we're just gonna take a look at everything inside and yeah, let's get to it. So, first, before we continue, a quick look at the box you can see Sonic there. The word collector's edition, so that's pretty cool. Also, it's necessary to look at the sides because you never know what's there. This is by Jack Specific, so that's good. That's cool. They have quality Sonic figures, I guess. Let me go to the other side. And we see a... I don't really know what um, um, emotion this would be for Sonic. And then let's have a look at the back here. Ooh, okay. Here, we got we got all the good stuff. Here's a uh, description of Sonic. Not really a description, but more of a description of the figure. So that's cool. And then all the points of articulation, the accessories that it comes with. And then here's a picture of Sonic uh, with the... I forget the name. The display piece that it comes with. And then here, here are all of the things he comes with. This figure was about $20. I found it on sale, so that's good. Anyways, let's get this thing opened up and see what he comes with. Uh, I can see and hear some of the stuff. So. so, here we have Sonic out of the box. Um, and then we have this really nice display piece. That he comes with that broke, apparently. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, it's not breaking. It's a really nice display piece, but it's a bit flimsy, so be careful with that if you ever do buy this. But, and that just fell. Lovely. Okay, well, I'm gonna set Sonic aside here and take a look at the. Uh, design and detail on this so this is clearly based off of studiopolis which i don't know if you, the camera's picking that up but if you can see it has like a little weird 3d effect that let me let me get let me get the other thing it has a 3d effect that i don't know it it i like it it, it works with it and this is Studiopolis. I don't know why they chose Studiopolis, Studioopolis to go with this, but it actually works. Um, as you can see, the, it has pink bot here, so it kind of looks like it's showing inside of one of the buildings that you can kind of go in, but I'm not sure. And then Club Spin, Eggnog, nice little reference there. I think that's supposed to be where the subway is, I'm not sure. But, we're gonna set this off to the side, and take a closer look at Sonic. So before we take a look at Sonic, these are all of the accessories he comes with. So we have the, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be hurt, or happy eye piece. And we have the kind of bruh face, I'm not sure, I don't really know what this is. Kind of unamused. Um... This one seems more sad than anything. Maybe hurt. Not sure. 
And this one is just Sonic Smile. And then we come over here to the hands. We have two fists. Two punchers. And then we have this pointer finger, which I believe is either to point, or it could be to replicate Sonic's, um, his classic pose, his, you know, the finger-wagging thing. I'll, I'll put it, there you go, it's right there. And then we have an open hand. Now, if you're wondering why it didn't come with two open hands, it actually did. came right here on the Sonic figure. So. We're going to see how he looks like with all of these on. So the way you take it off, the way you interchange the things is you pull on his mouth here. And then you take out the eyes. If it'll... Give me a second. Anyways, yeah, you take out the eyes and there you go. He looks like something, that's for sure. And then... um. Oh, also you can interchange the hair. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But then you can swap him out with different faces. So, say that. And this one. And there you go. Now, now he has a sort of happy looking face, smiling. Like he's, I don't know, doing something happy. So that basically means that they're all interchangeable. So... Now, to talk about more interchangeable stuff, let's take a look at the hands. So, the hands are a different story. You can, uh, they're very easy to pop off. Let's hope I don't pop off Sonic's arm here. <laughs> Give me a second, it's hard to, here, let's try this. Nope, you need two hands for it. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, I popped off one of his, um, hands. And you can just change it out with another hand. You can change it here. All you gotta do is just press, press it in. Put it there, and give me a second. There you go. And now he has two open hands. Like he's about to slap you. Uh, uh, lovely. This one fell off. So you you get the gist. You can basically um. This, I honestly think, is a reference. Well, yeah, no, duh, it's a reference, but... Also, I like how they... Instead of using yellow, like the Tomy figure, they actually use gold, which I think works a lot better for this. Like, here. The buckles on Sonic's shoes. They're supposed to be gold, and here they got it right. They got it gold. So, there you go. The Tomy figure, on the other hand, included a ring. But it was more, also, it's more like a, it's not hard, it's not solid. It's more like a rubbery, bendable sort of thing. But yeah. So that's basically what he comes with. So. Well, let's look at all of his points of articulation. Oh yeah, and uh, before I forget, the reference to, frick, the reference to this I think is not the um when he gets a ring. It is, but like it's more of a I think it's a reference to the Sad AM opening. When Sally Acorn throws Sonic a ring and it allows him to I don't even know what, what he did, but he did something. But I believe that this is a reference to that, not to him collecting rings in the game. Not sure why, but it just gives me those vibes. Just the way he he's shown grabbing it and just not sure. Anyway, continue. So here we can see all of his points of articulation. So we're gonna see the arms first. So the arms they can move three I believe three hundred and sixty degrees. I'm not sure. I'm not willing to go that far with my figure. And then both arms do. And then it has an elbow joint, which moves up and down. Then you have the swivel at the at the hand. And these lines on here don't really do anything. 
then you can move the neck no, I mean move the head all the way around so <clears throat> that's pretty cool so so far we have about uh, I mean, six seven points of articulation and then we see here with the with the legs that's seven eight nine and then we have the swivel at the feet 10 11 so the box wasn't lying that it has 11 points of articulation i almost forgot about the inside of the box i'm recording this after i took sonic out but this is just the inside of the box this is actually my wallpaper so that's pretty cool and then we have where you would see sonic in here I'm having it close up because I'm not trying to show everyone what's behind there. Um, so this is all just basically cardboard, but I think I'm going to keep it. So that basically concludes our unboxing video. If you did like the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Let me know what you should... Well, uh, let me know what you think I should do next. This was really fun, and now I got a cool little Sonic uh, figure out of it. So, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.